President Joe Biden remains in the lead in Georgia, potentially, potentially on the verge of flipping the state blue for the first time in 28 years. Democrats are, as Elwin said, thanking activists such as Stacey Abrams and also Latasha Brown for mobilizing voters. Latasha is the co-founder of the Black Voters Matter Fund, and Latasha is with us now. Thank you for joining us, and good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So can you tell us a little bit more about what exactly did your organization, Black Voters Matter Fund, do to change this election? What do you think the key moves were that you made? So Cliff Allwright and I started the organization in 2016. We wanted to build capacity of Black-led grassroots groups. So over the last few years, we've been working to build capacity in, in 11 states. So this election cycle, we worked in 15 states, very deeply with partners, anywhere from 25 to over 100 partners in those states. We were able to fund over 600 black-led grassroots groups. We did coordination in each of those states. We've been campaigning very hard the last three months. Um, in addition to that, we've been doing not only caravans, but sending out text messages and contact with probably over 10 million black uh, voters throughout those 15 states. And we've been doing a, we had a tour called the We Got Power Tour that we launched that we went through all of those 15 states, helping people to register them to vote, also to amplify the election and to connect with our partners on the ground. What do you think specifically was the role of black female voters in America in 2020? You know, I think we made the difference. We were the leverage vote and we have the highest turnout rate than any constituency group in this country, I think we knew what was at stake. I think we sit uniquely at the intersection of sexism and racism, and we knew how important it was for us to participate, and not only participate as voters, but we were organizers. We were leading the charge. When you look at who was leading the political spectrum, and when you look at who was leading the political landscape in Georgia that led, there were black women. When you're looking at who was leading the work, the organizing work on the ground, the majority of them were black women. So I think we had a critical role, not just as voters, but as strategists, as leaders, and as organizers. You've, we've got a few seconds left here. Let me let you prognosticate for a second. We're heading into potentially two runoff uh, elections in, in the state of Georgia, where you're sitting right now, for which could determine the outcome of the control of the U.S. Senate. How optimistic are you as we head into these key runoff elections? I am excited. I think Georgia is already on the brink of shocking the world. It is very good organizing. What we're witnessing right now is we're witnessing years of deep organizing. People are fired up. We're ready to go. It's been 27 years since this state has turned blue. And so I think that blue wave will, wave will continue. Latasha, your, your work, uh, you still have it cut out for you, uh, even as we uh, pass Election Day 2020. Latasha, thank you very much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.